You got to keep in mind when you are with a woman that's not your girlfriend, not your wife, it is just your turn. So enjoy your turn. All right. She can be feminine. She can be a dime. It don't matter. Right. She can be, you know, submissive. But if she's just a girl that you're just having sex with or y'all just casually dating, she's still not yours. Just because she's feminine and submissive does not mean she's not talking to other guys. What up, what up, kings? Welcome back to another powerful, positive, and productive video, all right? In this quick video, I just want to answer a great email for one of you guys. Um, one of you guys made the sad mistake of going in a woman's phone, all right? And I want to explain why that is a big no-no if you're casually dating girls or if you got a fuck buddy. What she has going on in her phone is none of your goddamn business, all right? But before I explain, before I go into this email, I just want to let you not guys know that this video is brought to you by Goalie. I am now a partner with Goalie, and the reason why I love Goalie so much is because of the ashwagandha, all right? I've tried the uh, apple cider vinegar gummies. They work great, but the ashwagandha, the KSM 66, ashwagandha is powerful, all right? Why? Because it lowers your cortisol levels. On TikTok, I got something called glizzy gummy gummies. I call them glizzy gummies. When you use the liquid herb, I call that glizzy serum, all right? And you also have glizzy pills. All right, fellas, today is your lucky day. I'm gonna show you where to buy glizzy pills, glizzy serum, or glizzy gummies. And I'm gonna show you how to make glizzy water, all right? How I make my glizzy water, okay? Let's get into it. First of all, fellas, stay out of Walmart buying cheap ass ashwagandha, guys, all right? Go to the vitamin shop or whole food. All right, these are the glizzy gummies, all right? And when you um, buying uh, ashwagandha, you wanna look for KSM66 ashwagandha root extract. Now, here go the glizzy serum, all right? Liquid herb. All right, guys, this is how you make glizzy water, all right? You take your liquid glizzy serum, ashwagandha, and you get a bottle of water. One, two, three squirts of liquid ashwagandha slash glizzy serum. And don't forget to take your glizzy gummies, all right? If you want a crazy ass discount, click the link in the bio. All right, and when I say pills, serum, and gummies, those are different forms of ashwagandha, right? Glizzy pills, glizzy gummy, glizzy serum, all right? Well, when you use this product, it lowers your cortisol levels, it diminishes your stress, it gets rid of anxiety, and when all of those things are gone, you can perform like a fucking king in the bedroom, all right? This shit is for all of my guys that get the real thing, all right? To all of you dick beaters out there, you keep watching porn, you still got this weak-ass fucking addiction, this ain't for you. This is for all of my guys out there that's practicing semen retention periodically, and you getting ass from time to time. If you want to take her to Pound Town, bro, I highly recommend you guys check this shit out, all right? Uh, it went viral on um, TikTok. I call it Glizzy Gummies, all right? I have a link in the description. It's gonna be the second link in the description so you can get this crazy ass discount when you click the link, all right? The discount code is Glizzy Max. So if you wanna increase your glizzy, if you wanna alleviate stress, if you wanna clinically normalize, because this shit is clinically proven to normalize cortisol levels, and get rid of stress and anxiety so you can be relaxed with a girl because it's a it, it ain't no worse feeling than you in the middle of getting it on with a girl you trying to take a girl down to pound town right and your man meat just disappoints you it just dies right so if you want to stay focused if you want to stay relaxed and all of that good shit click that sec second link in the description bro and you will thank me later all right but let me dive into this fucking video never go in a woman's phone big fucking no-no all right if you're just casually dating a woman or she's a fuck buddy what she got going on in her phone is none of your goddamn business you can have a girl in your bed and her phone could be on the nightstand and you can clearly see that it's lighting up don't say shit about it don't ask what she got going on don't say nothing slick like damn you sure got a lot of niggas hitting you up don't say shit because it's none of your goddamn business all right you want to always project the mindset of abundance. I'm, I'm in an abundance mindset. I don't give a fuck what you got going on in your phone. You ain't my bitch. 
this is just my turn. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm gonna enjoy my turn without being insecure about who else may be trying to hit you hit you up, all right? So never go on a woman's phone. One of you guys sent me a good email telling me about this broad that you got. She's submissive, she cooks, she cleans. When it comes to sex, you don't even have to ask. And what up, for whatever strange reason, you felt like it was okay to lurk in her phone and you found something, all right? This guy found out that she was emailing back and forth with her ex, all right? And he asked me what he should do about it. Short answer, do nothing, all right? Because if you bring that shit up, if you bring up the simple fact that you went in her phone, lurking, cock blocking, and all of that bitch ass shit, all of that beautiful shit you explained to me, how she's submissive, how she cooks and cleans and sucks you off, and when it comes to sex, you don't even have to ask, all that shit will begin to die, all right? It will begin to die because you went from a mindset of abundance over to over to a scarcity based mindset and when you as a man have a scarcity based mindset you start to give that woman leverage against you he's scared to lose me he's scared to to lose me to another guy he think another guy gonna come take me and she will begin to control you okay so you guys gotta understand this about your relationships with a, a, a woman you can have four different types of relationships with the woman all right she can be a fuck buddy Y'all can just be casually dating, uh, actual relationship, and marriage, all right? At the beginning of your email, you told me that y'all had just been dating for two years, all right? Casually dating and being in exclusive relationships, relationship is two different things, all right? When you are casually dating, you can talk to however many bitches you want. She can talk to however many guys she want to. What you got going on ain't none of her business, and what she got going on ain't none of your fucking business. All right, so don't go on the phone. Don't communicate neediness and you know you being scarce, being scared. None of that shit. Because if you do, you're gonna ruin that good thing. You gotta keep in mind when you are with a woman that's not your girlfriend, not your wife. It is just your turn. So enjoy your turn. All right. She can be feminine. She can be a dime. It don't matter. Right. She can be you know submissive. But if she's just a girl that you're just having sex with or y'all just casually dating she's still not yours just because she's feminine and submissive does not mean she's not talking to other right. guys just because she's uh perceiving herself to be a good girl a submissive girl does not mean she got two or three she doesn't have two or three other guys in the in the background trying to get at her or you know it, it just is what it is it's just your turn burn that in your brain bro don't say nothing about the emails that you saw. Just keep it player. When you go through a woman's phone, that shit is beta. It's not player, it's not alpha. Going through a woman's phone is beta. Keep shit player and always remember to stay alpha, all right? So to all of you guys out there, you got a rotation of girl, girls, leave, stay out of her fucking phone. What she got going on in her phone is none of your goddamn business, all right? So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you got anything you want me to talk about, bro, leave it in the comment section below. I look forward to you guys' comments in the comment section. Again, if you want to cop yourself some goalie gummies, I call them glizzy gummies, so you can maximize your man meat in the bedroom by, you know, putting a herb in your body to help you relax. Second link in the description. Just click the link. The discount code will automatically be applied, all right? The discount code is glizzy max. But if you just click that link below, it will automatically be applied and you'll get a crazy ass discount i hope you guys be good and always remember to stay alpha